Hi, welcome back to this trainer tip. Carol's going to demonstrate one of my favorite moves, which we've developed for the GTS, which is our rock the cradle. And what this is, it's a double-handed grip, just using the one cable, and in an upright position to start off with, there is a slight tilt, so we do have um, the back extensors engaged, and there's a motion here where we're just moving the elbows. You'll see that this is all shoulders here at the moment. And right now, with bent elbows, you can keep the elbows low to the side and a nice small motion. We can increase the range, keeping the same rhythm, and we're lifting up more, so it's requiring more work through the shoulder area. Or we can change the rhythm, so Carol can come out really quickly into my hand and then slowly back. So each time you add a little change, it's going to affect the way that that movement feels and the way that we're loading the musculature. The next development from this is to add more forward flexion and then some rotation. So as our Carol comes up now, what you're going to see is her whole abdominals and her obliques come in and they're gauge and there's almost a rounding motion here through the rib cage area. If you want to keep your arms in a circle, as you can see here, that's fine. If you want to have more of a bend, the hands coming up high to the chest, perfectly acceptable at any level that you like. All you have to do is decide what is your goal here. So for in this one, I want Carol to really move her ribs and I'd like her to be tipped over more. What I don't want to see is that Carol's scapula rounds up and that her shoulders creep up to her ears and she looks like this little person that's got no neck. Excellent. Are you feeling it here? Fantastic. And how are you feeling up here? So it's a really nice motion. Again, in this rock the cradle, change the rhythms. The base move would be sitting back down into the heels. Now remember, if that's not suitable for your group or your client, you can add in our wedge pillow, which is fantastic because it gives that little bit of lift and it protects the knee. I think that's great, actually. So when you're looking at the movement, again, decide what your objectives are. Do you want to engage more through the abdominals and stabilize through the back, or do you really want to focus into the shoulder area and get the motion? My favorite thing about any of these moves is you can really apply it in a group position and make it very, very unique to each person who's in your class and experiencing that workout. So choose what's good for your client, choose what's good for your group, and then play with that movement because it's very, very easy to tailor it to the needs of that individual, although even when you're in a group setting.